everybody, it's George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World again. And this week's question came in from John Davenport. And his question's about using plugins with Twisted Wave, actually. And he's asking specifically about one plugin, but this will kind of uh, apply to other plugins that use a similar technology. And his question is, how do I load the Loud Max VST plugin on Twisted Wave? So Loud Max is a plugin that I love because it's a great limiter. And a limiter is a plugin that limits the volume of audio, keeping it from going above a certain amount. And uh, it really helps bring your levels up, make them a little bit hotter or a lot hotter if you need to, without clipping and without going over a certain threshold. And that's what's great about LoudMax. The limiter plugin built into Twisted Wave, it's fine, but you can't set the output on the Twisted Wave plugin. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into Twisted Wave, record some audio. Here I'm recording some audio that I'm going to now apply a limiter to. If I use the built-in plugin that comes with Twisted Wave under the Apple Audio Units Peak Limiter, you'll see that the Peak Limiter plugin has an attack and release, which the other plugin does automatically. It doesn't, you don't have to set those. And then it has only a pre-gain control. So all that does is allow you to boost the level but it's always gonna end up boosting it all the way or close to zero. So if I set this to, let's say eight, to boost the overall levels by eight dB, you'll see the level goes almost right up to zero, if not zero. If I analyze this, it hits minus 0.22. So if I wanted to keep the level at minus three before I send it out, I'd have to do a separate normalize pass, apply in minus three dB peak normalize, and drop it down again. So it's two steps. What's great about the LoudMax plugin is it does those two steps in one step. And everybody knows it does a lot of voiceover recording of their own. You have to have a lot of efficiency when you do this stuff. So Thomas Munt is the creator of LoudMax, so it falls under his name under the plugin list. And that brings up the LoudMax plugin. Now this is an Apple Audio Units or AU plugin. You mentioned in the email VST. Do not use the VST version. It will cause you trouble. You want to use the AU plugin version. Again, I'm going to show you in a minute how to install it. But just to show you, instead of having an input level adjustment like the other plugin does, this one has a threshold control. So that means any sound that passes above that threshold will be limited or limited from going much louder. It also automatically makes up the gain. So once the level is limited at minus six, it makes up the gain so that the output ends up at whatever the output setting is. And here it's minus three. And that's great. So you can set it to automatically limit to minus three. So if we go back to the raw audio and click apply, it limits the audio, it applies a, 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 the plugin and it limits it to minus three. Now I have a threshold of minus six on the audio. So it never actually has to boost enough gain to actually hit the, uh, the actual limiter at minus three. So if we choose a lower threshold, this one's backwards about this one, lower thresholds are higher levels. Click apply, and now you can dramatically see the limiter coming into effect, and you'll notice that it limited at a peak amplitude of minus three. So it's a great tool because of the time saving. It does a really nice job, but how do you install it? So maybe maybe it's not the most intuitive thing about Twisted Wave. Sometimes the process of installing third-party plugins, if the plugin provider doesn't give clear instructions or have an installer, uh, it can sometimes be a little bit cryptic as to how to install those plugins. So let me show you how to get there. A lot of plugins like this particular one, they're using the AU or Apple Audio Units plugin standard which in the Apple parlance is called a, a, a component. And components are in a folder that is kind of tucked away in the system a bit. It's not in your user account where you might think to look for it. It's actually in the main library folder on your computer. Most people on a Mac, that stuff is being hidden from you because Apple doesn't want you mucking around in the library or anything else other than what's in your actual user account. So if you can't see anything past your user account, here's the trick. 
hold down the command key, and when you're in the Finder window, click on the, the name of your user account or basically any folder that's at the top. And it will now magically pop up a directory tree. And the, the directory at the bottom of the list is the most root or the highest level directory on your system. So if I go to Mac SSD, that's the name of my hard drive. Yours might just be Macintosh HD. Um, it takes us to our library folder. We'll go ahead and open library. Inside library is audio. Inside audio is plugins and anything to do with audio configurations, plugins, everything is in here. Open up plugins and that takes us to the components folder. And you'll notice there's also VST folders and all that, but we don't care and want to deal with the VST stuff at all. We just want to look at audio units. So just remember AU audio units equals components. Open components. And then every component plugin or AU plugin that I've installed in the system is in this one folder. So I'm going to have a lot more than most of you are probably going to have because I've installed a lot of plugins. But basically all we have to do is once we download the Loudmax plugin, which is on their website, we just go to AU plugin. And it brings up this uh, installer window. We click download the big green button. Don't be afraid. Media Fire is a legitimate file repository for downloading files. I know it looks kind of spammy. And then download the AU file. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Once you've downloaded it, mine's on my desktop. So let's go to my desktop. And you'll see that you'll download and you'll have a zip file. And you'll also have, which I'm just going to throw away. And you'll also have a Loudmax component. Just go ahead and copy Command C that into the Components folder. Command V. Now your component is installed. Not too bad, right? So once you have the Loudmax plugin installed, you can close the uh, Finder window. Now let's go ahead and see if our plugin's there. Now here's the thing: once you install a new plugin, if you haven't relaunched Twisted Wave, it's probably not going to show up. So I've already had it installed. I know it's going to be there. So, but normally you'd have to quit Twisted Wave and launch it again to refresh the plugins. Then to find it, we go into Effects, Audio Units, and we look for the name Thomas Munt. And there's our plugin, Loudmax. So some plugin systems use their own plugin manager. Waves happens to be one of those. They have their own software that you have to download and install, and their plugin manager manages the licensing, makes sure that you've bought the software, that you're allowed to use it. Other software uses something called iLock to manage the license for the software. Pro Tools and Source Connect use the iLock system. But whatever the case is, every plugin system, they're not all using the same standard or the same licensing system, nor do they use the same install system. So if you have any trouble with this, if you get stuck with this, that's what I'm here for. I'm available for consultation to walk you through difficult software installs or finding things that you've lost in the system or just demystifying things. This is what I do. If you have a question, if you just want to get tech support, the best place to go is edgestudiotechnology.com. That's our new website for just all things tech. If you have just a question for Woodham's World you'd like to have answered for free on a future show, just send that to Woodhamsworld at edgestudio.com. That's Woodhamsworld at edgestudio.com. And I'll be happy to answer it on a future episode. Thanks for watching. This has been George Woodham for Woodham's World. And I'll see you guys around the web. Good night.